Hello and welcome to my contrast and speed paint tutorial for Blood Angels Space Marines. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content in the future. Starting from an all over white undercoat, our first colour is speed paint blood red. When working with these types of paints on armour panels and flat surfaces, it's always best to break down the model into sections to make sure the paint is flowing exactly where you want it to. You'll notice how I started with the bands of the foot before moving on to the toes and then to the back of the foot. Make sure you have plenty of paint on your brush as you don't want the paint to start drying while you're still working it around the model. This is one of the biggest pitfalls of contrast and speed paints. Don't worry too much if you get any red where you don't mean to, you can always tidy that up with a strong white paint at a later stage. Next you'll need a pot of Contrast Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to be using this to put a bit of richness in the shadows of the armour, which will in turn help the higher edges pop in the final result. When shading with contrast you need to work relatively quickly so the edges of the paint don't dry before you've had a chance to blend them in. Make sure you decide where your light source is going to be before you start. Unless you have a specific idea, then shadows will usually be found on the inside of legs, underneath arms, etc. When you've placed the shading where you want it, quickly give your brush a wash and use the damp brush to gently dab at the edges where the paints meet each other. The extra moisture in the brush will help the wet paint to subtly blend into the other colour. For the next stage, you'll need Contrast Black Legion. I'm using this for all the sections between the armour, like the back of the knees, the crook of the arm, as well as any piping and tubes. When working with darker contrast colours, you need to be a little more careful with paint placement, as they usually have much better coverage than the light colours. If you do make a mistake, then quickly wash your brush off and use it to collect as much of the overspill as possible. Time to put our second main colour in, and for this I use speed paint Ancient Honey. There's no great secret to this part, just make sure you have plenty of paint on your brush so you get a nice rich colour. Allow the pooling of the paint to work in your favour. Next grab some speed paint hardened leather for some details. There's a number of these type of paints that while you're painting them, they seem to be quite light when applied, but have faith, they will darken down after they dry. Hardened leather is one of those paints, but even if it is a little light for your liking, you can always do a second coat once the first is completely dry. Jumping back to the yellow, grab a bottle of Speed Paint Sand Golem. This paint has a really rich yellowy brown feel to it and it's perfect for shading this quite vibrant yellow. Much like when we shaded the red, think about the placement of the paint in regards to where the light would hit the model. With this in mind, I focused on the corners of the shoulder pad and the underside of the gun. Remember to use a damp brush to blend those edges in. Time to finish off the metal and for this you'll need speed paint Gravelord Grey. Much like hardened leather, Gravelord Grey is one of those paints that goes on very light but it darkens a surprisingly large amount when it dries, so just put a decent amount all over any metal parts you've yet to paint, sit back and wait for the paint to do its magic. If you have any straps or belts, paint them with Speed Paint Satchel Brown. Now I'd love to show you this part, but of course my camera skills went in the bin. You will be able to see the final result in 3, 2, 1, ah, there you go. Grab whichever white paint you've been using for touch-ups throughout the paint job. For me, that's Pro Acryl Bold Titanium White. Taking a fine detail brush, carefully paint the lenses of the eyes. This will lay down the base for the next stage. Next you'll need a vibrant green, I use speed paint shamrock green, and you just put a small amount on each lens. Because you're working in such a small area, you may need a couple of coats for the effect to really take. Time for the purity seals, so grab a bottle of speed paint bony matter and put a good amount on your brush. 
bony matter is another one of those goes on light, dries darker paints, so give it time to dry before you decide on putting another coat on. For the wax seal, I used Speed Paint Carmine Dragon. Be warned, this paint is incredibly vibrant and covers very well, so be careful next to a very clean, newly painted bony matter colour. Maybe paint these the other way around. Don't be like me. Finally, grab some Contrast Black Legion, and we're going to need your finest of detail brushes. It may look like I'm painting letters here, but I assure you there's not a single recognisable word among that writing. Just try to make sure the writing is roughly the same height and all going in the same direction, and you'll be fine. We're not trying to win awards here, so you don't need to make things harder for yourself. Onto the base, and this is done with two paints, the first being Speed Paint Howling Sand. Make sure before this stage you go around the base with your white and touch up any overspill, because it will show through the Howling Sand as it's very light and transparent. Give the base a really good coat of Howling Sand, it will take more than you think as the sand really soaks the paint up. While that is still wet, grab a bottle of Speed Paint Brownish Decay and place a couple of sizeable droplets directly onto the Howling Sand. Since it's still wet, the two paints flow nicely into each other and naturally blend. Grab some Citadel Abaddon Black and do two thin coats around the rim of the base to finish off the model nicely. And there we have it, your Blood Angels Space Marine is complete. I hope you found this tutorial useful, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments which models you'd like to see tutorials on in the future. Thanks for watching!